it's so kind of hard for me to talk about because it feels like such a instinctual draw for me. Um, I've always found Vegas very interesting. Um, I used to always um, take pictures, driving to and from college, I would stop there and, and just kind of spend time. And it just operates in such a different way than any other American city. And it's it's full of this narrative of magic and promise, but there's almost there's so much uh, hardship around that too. And uh, I I just find it's so interesting, and, and I wonder what it's like to live under that backdrop. And so I've craved to make a movie there, um, but I also really wanted to make a movie in an intimate way. And uh, I was talking to my cousin Robert Schwartzman about how we could do this and. My other cousin, Matt <laughs> Shire, I was, you know, he knows my love for Vegas and he's like, well, you know, Kate wrote this play about these showgirls um, when she was there and studied with the real Jubilee show as it was closing and she also loves Vegas. And when I read it, it just, it made so much sense to kind of have this, again, intimate story where, you know, you're in this kind of enclosed world of the backstage of being a showgirl and um and, and and these characters were super rich and had so much life to them and I loved the witty dialogue and and it was a world I didn't quite understand the the, the level of artistry with the showgirl culture of of how um intricate these costumes and heavy these costumes are and um the level of uh, etiquette with the way that you have to stand and dance, and w these costumes can sometimes be like 65 pounds, these headdresses, and and the production value of what those shows used to be just don't exist anymore. And I think I was really interested in how um, so much of our culture and art and just women it's always kind of out with the old and with the new and and i i kind of am, am interested in in that shift of, of taste um and, and so there were so many layers that, that really drew me to this project and and yeah i thought that was what was so interesting about this role is that you know shelly's intentions and her optimism and her just confusion of how could this possibly end this is so important to the world you know and to and uh, hitting her all at once. And I guess, you know, I can relate to it on so many different levels as a mother, as a person in this industry whose um, most of my career has been about external and not uh, the soul of what really happens behind the, you know, the, the superficial qualities that people, you know, even hire you for or know you for, and you're always just like, you know, there's so much more to me than what people see, and you don't know if you're ever going to get the chance to show that. And so that was really why I was so um, excited about this movie. This was such a fantastic, happy accident, even, because my ex-agent <laughs> turned it down Yeah, he, within an hour and didn't even show me. I have a new agency. I'm with CAA. <laughs> And they're really wonderful, but my ex-agent just didn't think that I had it in me, which was really horrible and horrendous because this is the most important thing. I think, you know, and I, that's what made me also really want to freaking crush this. I was like, I'm just pouring myself into this. I have nothing to lose, and I am this character, and I don't even know who else could have done it. I said, this was meant for, for me, and so there was also that. So it's just, it's part of the story. I mean, it's part of Shelley's story. So yes, there was a lot of um, intermingling. But I also, when I saw the film, I was like, wow, that she doesn't, that's not me, that's Shelley. And so I thought, oh, this is how it works. <laughs> so I don't know, I feel like a new baby in this industry, in this film. And I, I feel like it's just all beginning. I was really, I really loved every minute of it. And it was such hard work. And these guys were so great and wonderful to work with. And I don't know, I just feel like a little kid again. I always have been fascinated with the lives of dancers. I think that dancers are superheroes, <laughs> just any kind of dancer, ballet dancers. And it's the way that athletes are are superheroes also. And, and I have always loved writing about the lives of 
dancers and and I've always loved stories about the lives of dancers. So this was sort of an unexplored territory that that I I mean, you know, it's a kind of been explored in certain ways, but not in a truthful way. And when I saw Jubilee, I was so blown away by the idea that there are people that have been in this show for so many years and that the writing was on the wall that the show was going to close and what were they going to do after this show and it really struck me when I saw the show and then I was able to make connections with the dancers in the show and with um, Diane Palm who's the company manager and they really welcomed me in to tell me all about their experiences and there were and I had actually written a first draft of the play before you know, before, I think a first draft, before I actually spoke to Diane. I had spoken to some of the dancers, but once I talked to Diane, it was like so many of her experiences were things that somehow I had channeled from just seeing the show or imagining what these women's lives were like. And I think our communication in the beginning of our process and mine with Gia was just about creating a really authentic depiction of what it is to be a showgirl and the beauty of the human form and how important it is for women to feel seen and feel beautiful who are not just in their 20s or in their, you know, over a certain age, it's like you feel like you can become invisible. And it was very important to me to show a very beautiful depiction of, a, of the human female form also over a certain age. Well, I did the splits every day for like a month and a half leading up to it because I didn't want to pull something and I, I genuinely, I read it and I went, oh, I, I, I need to, I used to dance, but I'm not really, uh, I, I wasn't currently practicing. So I started just holding the splits every single day leading up to it. And we got, we got the, I mean, I, I hope we got the shot. I was like this close to the floor, uh, but, but nothing was, nothing was injured and it was genuinely so fun. I, um, um, I, I mean, I think like <laughs> the funny thing about that scene too is that Jody, to me, she's she's 19 and there's like a, a real sense of innocence to her and a naivete about the world and that sort of crumbles slowly throughout the movie. And I think that's a really heartbreaking piece of her story. And the dance is so kind of overtly sexual, but I don't think she really knows it quite fully or realizes exactly what it is, which I I think that between Gia and Autumn and Kate and your guys' reactions was was sort of captured. And to me, that is a big part of her story is um, uh, a, a sort of loss of innocence and a, a fear settling into her body throughout, throughout the movie. Well, and it's one of my favorite things about the script and the movie for me is just that it really shows off, you know, four generations of women who are sort of at this crossroads in their lives and how they handle it. It's, you know, for me, Marianne is, represents someone who, that's just her nine to five. That is her job. I think she's lost the love for dancing or she just doesn't even know. And she's the polar opposite of Shelly. Shelly's such a dreamer and it angers her that she's such a dreamer because she's been so beaten down by her life, whatever her journey was. And so I think it's it's so beautiful to be able to watch all of these different characters handle this very life altering like situation because it is true. Like no one ever really, we don't really plan for a plan B. You know, we look at our hopes and dreams we're like that is it. And then what happens when and that comes to an end. Um, so I think that's one of my favorite things about exploring this with all of you guys is finding a different approach because I am such a, like, the glass is always half full and Mariana's the opposite. And I remember Gia always coming, Gia always just really taking me to a really uncomfortable but safe place. And that's why this experience was so wonderful because I think that's what it was. It was so uncomfortable being around these professional dancers, wearing archival Bob Mackie, like being scared every day, but feeling so safe and in a place where we can explore and really just be authentic with ourselves and with each other. And I think that's where these characters, like how they came to life is truly this camaraderie. Like these, this group of women and Dave were so incredible. I know it's always the women and Dave because it's, it was just, it was such a beautiful experience to go there every day and know that if I like tripped and fell, someone would catch me. And like, and it's really rare to find that. And especially when, for me, I've never really done 
anything like this, to be a part of a movie like this. Gia gave me such an incredible opportunity to step out of a stereotype that I feel like people never wanted to see me in at this sort of medium and to be in a place where you just had that safety and that like someone to push you out of your comfort zone. It was just incredible for me. And so to we that was the first time that we all saw it last night, or at least Pam Kiernan and I, we had never seen it before. So it was such like an emotional, like spiritual experience. <laughs> um, Jamie Lee Curtis. Oh, oh. oh Jamie. Can we, can we talk about Mommy. 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 So much joy. I mean, she's such a legend. Um, With the dancing scene, you know, there were, we were staying in the Rio and they have what they call a bevertainer. And every once in a while, it would be six in the morning when we walk to set and these girls would get on stage and just start dancing. They, and, or singing and, Jamie was just watching it and she's like enamored by it. And I was like, would you do that? And she's like, you're going to make me dance, Gia. And I was like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, and she's like, well, Annette's song is Total Clips from the Heart. And I was like, okay, great. Um, and she did it and we were just, it was just one take and we're like, whoa, oh, this has got to be in the movie. One take. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, you know, the locker scene, she's like, it's really important that Annette, um, you know, s- taking off the clothes, you see the struggle that these women have to go through of like spanks and the layers, and it's like, it's it's not easy to to what we do for the lengths of beauty. Um, and she's she's right. She she really comes at the character from just so much research and the way she finds things of how she wanted her character to look of like th- the most obscure random photo of like deep dive Vegas people um so it was really uh an honor to kind of get to know uh that level of talent I I felt very intimidated because of just coming off of this academy award winning win and um she just is nothing like that she's such a team player she comes to set early she hangs out on set she's our mommy she you know she's (laughs) she's a cheerleader for everyone and um, it just really set a great tone to the movie, um, kind of having that that sort of mentality of seeing someone who's worked so long um, and then just being so supportive to everyone else. Um, she called herself the, the cayenne pepper to the movie, and I was like, yeah, that, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> it just feels like a... Like I said, it's a, it's been a blur these last few days. This has been a blur, but it does. It feels good. It feels right. This was a lot of, like I said, very hard work and such a labor of love. Mm-hmm. And it's like I said, the stars are aligning. It's just like the it's the timing and timing. I mean, you just have to have patience with yourself too, and just keep on, you know, even believing in yourself before others believe in you. Like you know, you have to. So I, I don't know. I, it, it's it's so intermingled. I mean, the, the the process and the movie and being working with all these great women and and Jamie and I, I mean, we feel like we've known each other our entire lives. Mm. She is just so incredible and such a support system. And you know, she's always locking eyes with me. Like, okay, <laughs> okay. I'm like, okay. <laughs> we got this.